Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello. As you possibly saw then, by that little sign as we drove past, we're at Wing Yip in, uh, in Manchester. Um, right, I've got to tell you the little story behind this first. So, many years ago, we used to buy a Chinese takeaway <clears throat> from a local takeaway place. Oh, yeah. And this one night, we had our friend Lee uh, around and he said basically you do know you can buy all of this from Wing Yip don't you and I was like is it not just wholesale only like for restaurant owners and stuff and it was like no, no not at all it's a supermarket anybody can walk in like most Chinese supermarkets exactly now uh, Wing Yip specifically have uh, Manchester Birmingham London stores but I guarantee you no matter where you live Let's say you live in Chesterston Field. It's not a place. But if, you, if, the, if it was, you would go to Google and type in Chesterston Field, Chinese supermarket, and you would find some in your local area. Fair to say. Um, and a lot of them carry the kind of same products. It's all kind of... Um, you know, uh, Chinese, Japanese, um, Korean, uh, Korean, uh, Indonesian, so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, so we came for the first time many years ago, bought all the things to make our usual takeaway, which would have cost us a, our takeaway would have cost us about twenty five pound. We bought things for about twenty five pound that did five takeaway style meals at home yeah um so they're great places to come the tofu girl they still in a baby bath i think i'm joking don't you i'm not i'm going to show you inside so we're going to give you a quick tour we're going to show you the stuff that we know is absolutely definitely vegan mm -hmm. we're here to do our once every two or three months mega shop this is our big, big shop. wing shop wing yip shop now where we need basically everything my my bottom drawer in my freezer is dedicated to stuff from here um because that meal we have that uh, chinese takeaway style meal is lovely we have it about once a fortnight maybe once every three weeks we do um if you uh watch our Meals vlogs, of course, many of you will know that because it's a reoccurring meal, like Paul says, on a two to three week basis. And if you've never caught any of our meals vlogs, we share all of Paul's fabulous cooking on the channel, or at least a large amount of it. Um, and we'll link our playlist for our meals up there. Um, but it's been a while since we've been to Wing Yip, so um, we're quite excited to go in and see... Uh, obviously our regular stuff, but yeah. also see if they've got anything that we've not seen before. We do like to find new things. And we'll show you. So let's get in there. Come on! <laughs> So obviously this is the uh, the store in Manchester and just to give you a quick kind of 180, 360, uh, there we are and Mr Bromley with the trolley raring to go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've met I've quite a few people on our. We were we were having a real issue finding gas recently, and a few people on the channel said you go to Wing Yip, they sell it there, uh, but we weren't coming until today. Funnily enough, uh, let's have a look at the noodle wall. So here we have probably the vastest collection of noodles you might ever see in your life, because, and I'm not kidding, Martha, it's all here, and all that wall right the way down and we will show you some of the noodles we buy but a lot of these are just like uh, rice noodles and uh, the vermicelli and rice sticks and you know so it's noodle heaven 
<laughs> uh, right, let's get some of the bits we normally get, Brommers. Just a couple of random things to show you, because we just came across these. Free. It's like, I know these are a bit pricey, but um, they are vegan uh, by ingredient, as are the taro chips uh, right above. Um, so, it's, you know, it's like these, for example, ingredients, taro and vegetable oil, vegan. So for those of you that have seen, uh, that are, are not new to our channel, we are going to be showing you stuff today that you've probably seen before, uh, but uh, this is about showing, you know, aiming the vlog at um, new people too who may have come across our channel for the first time. Um, so one of the things to look out for is these, for example, um, the Indomie noodles most of these just have a check on the packet there jason on the indomie uk website most of the indomie noodles are marked suitable for vegetarians and then when you check the ingredients you see that they're actually suitable for vegans uh, but there's one of them that isn't and i can't remember which one it is uh, i think this one is by ingredient one of the things that we've mentioned... Does it say suitable for vegetarians on it? Because it does on the website, but I can't remember it doing on the pack. And that's, I think, what confuses people. Yeah, no, it's understandable. I can't see anywhere that it says suitable for vegetarians. What I'll do, the website I'm talking about, I'll link it down there in the first comment, the Indoor Me website, so you can check it out for yourself. But these are the soup noodle ones, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And we usually get these, because uh, they're... 45p you know also very nice are the uh, meager ring um, yeah I'm gonna get a few of them and I think that's that's it yes that's it for them that's it for them so uh, as you can see, we're filling up with noodles. We're not all about the noodles. Well, we are, kind of. <laughs> um, we did these on uh, a challenge, um, a spicy noodle challenge, me, Jason and Stuart, many moons ago. I'll link it up there now for a laugh. Um, but by ingredient, they are actually vegan. Now, these ones here are vegan and actually marked vegan, which is always fantastic to see. Right there. They're 98p. Um, but they're absolutely gorgeous now just to show you this is what we use when we're out and about um, so if you want to take a screenshot of that and then cut it out keep it in your gallery on your phone it's a really handy thing to have however it's not always correct E631 for example um, is often made from shrimp or meat but can also be made from tapioca starch so these noodles have E631 in them but they're marked as vegetarian so we know that the E631 is not from um, meat or shrimp it's from tapioca starch shout out as well to Gareth from Far Place Animal Rescue um, because this card has come in really really handy so if you don't want to print it off from a screenshot you might be able to get in touch with them there yeah. and see if you can get one for yourself lovely so that's us noodles now let's go on and have a look at that baby bath of tofu I told you about you <laughs> thought we were joking didn't you I wasn't so we're moving into the uh, chilled section here now and this is what I was talking about when I said about the baby bath there's my hand for reference look it's massive and it's 12 quid so if you've got freezer space however we always this is our standard um, tall thing oh where's it gone Jason Did they changed the packaging they might have just changed the packaging Oh, this is, this is the one, but they don't have the firm, only the medium. £1.40 for 600 grams. And it's really good uh, tofu. So, What's that? Is that the medium? Tofu King. Because that's, that's the hard one. Well, that's a different make. Yeah, it's a different brand, isn't it? 
there's plenty to choose from anyway that's the main thing like absolutely loads of them 140 though for 600 grams you can't grumble so we've just picked up a packet of uh, green finger chilies for 93 pence uh, I keep them in the freezer um, but I, I've still got a load of these little red ones left so I don't need any of them I've got them in the freezer uh, but there's always plenty of fresh veg here lovely stuff marvellous always very reasonably priced as well isn't it yeah yeah for the fresh stuff oh and uh, the puffed toffee of course £1.95 or £2.35 depending on the size bag you get uh, fantastic for noodle soups and it literally is deep fried toffee lovely and they do all these little snack things as well which are usually invariably vegan because um, they usually just soya see lovely We don't normally show mushroom stuff on here because Jason's so averse to mushrooms, <laughs> like a big baby. I spotted these. I know. <laughs> but I get this if you fancy like, you know, an array of different mushrooms. I mean they sell them all individually as well. But if you you know if you if you just wanted to get a nice um, mixed bag for something, there you go. Also, tofu in boxes with a very sh long shelf life, um, if you'd rather. And lots of seaweed. Lots of different kinds of seaweed. Good for your mech and your uh, tuna. Yes. You usually use that for, isn't it? Uh, actually, I use the stack pots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Usually. So, yeah, lots of things. Speciality rices and their prices. These are the two uh, soy sauces uh, we buy. The um, mushroom flavoured one doesn't really taste like mushroom, it's just a very uh, rich, dark soy sauce, and then the light one. Um, we use these. The, the, they're just really good and they taste great. We know this is a bit random, but Jason just spotted it. So it's seafood, a seasoned soy sauce for seafood. Suitable for vegans. Well, I never. I mean, why would we have it on seafood? But we'll have it on fake seafood and shove it right down his gullet. <laughs> uh, and that is uh, £2.15. I also always buy this, £2.45, the white rice vinegar um, and I mix that and the two soy sauces with chopped spring onion and chopped chilies to make our dumpling dipping sauce. So where we just were was the kind of uh, bottles and jars aisle and honestly it's worth having a really good look but if you look here, they've got a nice little stand here um, with uh, a lot of uh, vegan products on it. Um, if you don't already know about this company they do a lot of um, you know custards and caramel sauces and butterscotch sauces and vegan calamari um, it's a family company isn't it Jason it we is. found out before in Thailand I think it is yeah fabulous um, company Look, they do sweetened condensed oat milk, sweetened condensed coconut milk, all natural coconut milk at 175. 
if you're in the market for a, t a tin of jackfruit the size of your head, <laughs> then there's also that as well. Literally, £4.98 uh, for a great big massive tin of jackfruit. And then down here, you've got uh, banana blossom, £2.35. Uh, you've got young green jackfruit for a pound a tin. Now that is awesome. And it says quite clearly, vegan friendly. Oh, more down here, Jason. Uh, green jackfruit in brine, 50p. Wow. 50p? Uh, and then up here, uh, on the top of this section again, uh, banana blossom, sweet condensed oat milk. You've got all these tins of the lights flash a bit round here because of the freezers, so I'll try and get in close uh, and show you. These are all the kind of mock meats. Uh, invariably vegan. They say on them, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And they're very, very good. Before we get onto the frozen stuff, can I just take you down here? Plushkas. As well. These little smaller tins. Barbecue jackfruit, vegan. Shriaka jackfruit, vegan. And they're £1.50. Sriracha, £1.60. I'm just loving the labelling. And what's, what's that one, Jess? Uh, young green jackfruit comfy. Oh. That means cooked in oil, doesn't it? Comfy. I think so, yeah. But all clearly marked vegan. Yeah. And then all these puddings and custards and chocolate fudge sauce, um, coconut whipping cream, all vegan. But let's go up to the bit that makes up our, uh, our meals and that would be all of this stuff here, the TKC frozen stuff. So I'll show you what we get. So here are the things we get. These are the uh, crispy tiger prawns, which are basically like tofu skin with vegetables and vermicelli. How much are they, Jason? They're up at the end there. £4.60. They're £4.60. Uh, the breaded drum drumsticks. £6.95. Wow, they've really gone up. Yeah. But still, they're worth it. Uh, the satay sticks we always get two packets of. £4.35. They're £4.35. And the small drumsticks. Uh, I cook two of these and then I chop it up into our rice with spring onion. Gorgeous. They're £4.00 or £3.65, I think. Uh, right, onward. Now, you will find a huge array of dumplings. It says right there, look. Look, see. It says dumplings. And there's loads and loads of different ones. Of course, you've got to check the ingredients. But our favourites are these ones. Just says vegetable dumpling. They're £2.85. Uh, they pan fry fantastically. So, two bags of them. That stocks our freezer back up. Well worth it. Oh, Beryl, our soya beans have had new packaging and got all fancy. They even say on them now, suitable for vegans, quite clearly, I mean, of course. But these are really good. You get a really good amount of soya beans. They're great for... We have them as a side with our takes, our takeaway style meal. There are two bags of these, Jay. But I also put them in stir fries as well because uh, they're lovely. And uh, it'd be rude not to. Hey, this is going to be a big shot, this from us. Oh, Luke, there's a thumbnail right there. I'll just show you quickly while there's not too many people around as well. If you're if you're in the market for cooking utensils, crockery, um, you can get all of that kind of stuff here as well. Uh, really, really, really good prices. Lovely serving dishes and uh, nice um, bamboo steamers for the tops of your pans. Fantastic. We believe that most of these are vegan, the mace and concentrated curry sauces. They do say suitable for vegetarians and by ingredient seem to be mainly vegan. 
take you away from that light so you can have a look and now we're on the hunt for some paratha all oh. of the pancakes are suitable for vegans by ingredient brilliant so that's good at least yeah but I can't find no paratha anywhere I can get up there so we found the paratha them are the ones we normally get um, and they are £1.95 for five um, we've already done the check on the ingredients and they're fine but look down here all this kind of stuff as well uh, lotus fruit frozen bits and um, oh what's this gal -gal. oh whole gallon gal -gal. Gal -gal. <laughs> Uh, right, that's our shop done. You ready, mister? I think so. Yeah. Fresh vegetables indeed. Wing it. Marvellous. So here's our trolley. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot in there. Uh, we'll show you how much it is when we get it through. And there you go. So that little lot uh, for us was... Um, 60 pounds and 50 pence <laughs> 60 pound and 50 pence but that's uh five or six takeaway style meals which lasts us weeks three months two to three months yeah depending yeah, yeah. on because sometimes you do variations don't you I on do. our yeah, yeah, yeah. um uh, but the the bottles the soy sauces it will get used in other stuff the tofu will get used for other things the noodles will be lunches probably so uh, it, it might seem a lot but this is treat for us this isn't like core food yeah. you know this it's very important to stress that the foods we've picked up today will be incorporated into what we call treat meals. So instead of getting a takeaway, we'll make our takeaway at home and much prefer it, really. Big time. I love to cook. Big time. I like, love to cook. And of course, you know, lots of people in the vegan community, we see it all the time online. Um, it's not a pleasant thing to reference, but there's a trust issue as well with, um, with eating out in yeah, general yeah, yeah. at places no, that, no, that aren't exclusively vegan um takeaways where you're a little bit worried yeah. you know even places like you know where you're going trying to get a coffee or something sometimes you know people say they've they've overlooked something or they've given them the wrong milk or, when, or they've given them a, a coffee made with like oat milk or whatever but then put dairy cream on top yeah instead of the vegan cream the moral of the story is to a certain extent um going right back to the start of the vlog today um if you've got a Chinese supermarket near you, uh -huh. we hope that this has um, reduced your anxiety a little bit because it can be a little bit daunting going somewhere like this, particularly if it's for the first time. Take your time, have a good wander around, take it all in, check out your ingredients. If you're looking for something in particular and you can't find it, ask the staff because they're awesome yeah. and so helpful. And that's how we got to know where everything is. Because they've had a few moves around in there now, haven't they? And kind of, yes. you know, we have to find out where's this been moved to. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. That's my hay fever. It gets me all through the year. Uh, <laughs> really. uh, so it's just started chucking it down here in sunny Manchester. That's lovely. Um, but we really hope you've enjoyed this vlog taking a trip around our local Chinese supermarket um, it's always a pleasure as we said it's been a while since we've been here yeah so we have stocked up haven't we yeah yeah we've we've you know our next visit here will be in around two or three months next year well, yeah 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 it will be next year probably although when I'm on a bit of a tofu mission and I get on one sometimes it's good to come down here and pick up a few packs at one pound forty one pound sixty for 600 grams yeah that stuff's brilliant. The, the regular supermarket still can't compete with your local Chinese supermarket when it comes to tofu pricing. It's so true, though. Get yourself a baby bath, bath of tofu and freeze it. Don't be daft. <laughs> if you've got the freezer space. Yeah. If not, 
just opt for what we normally get, which is the smaller version. Now do check out the rest of our shopping vlogs. You'll find other Wingate ones on there and you'll find lots of UK supermarket tours. That uh, uh, list will grow exponentially as we move towards Christmas and everyone gets their festive stuff in. So do check that out. And uh, thank you so much for being here with us today. To, if you've got this far in the video, hey love. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. And we, we do hope you've uh, it's helped in some way. We yeah. also hope that if you've got this far in the video, that you've um, considered giving the video a like. And uh, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel because we've got a plethora, as Paul said, of shopping vlogs. And they are never going away. Yeah. Ever. We're and we're a hop, skip and a jump away from 12,000 subscribers. A hop, a, a skip, skip and, and a, a jump. jump. So, please consider it. Love, Love you, you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. <coughs> Bye, loves. Driving home now. But that's all good because me have her album arrived this morning. <laughs> Yay! We're on track five. Oh, my God, it's good. Bye. <laughs>